So what makes sad people jump? What? Bridges. Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Brittany, and you're going to be seeing a lot more of her soon, because here's her OnlyFans address. Oh, no. no I don't have. I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> don't Sorry. give that away. <laughs> Whoa, why is it so, why does it, is this a horror? Whoa, what's that big eye looking at me? Where am I? Oh, it's me! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Holy crap, people are so correct. Who thought, wow, I'm gonna make a game where you have pogo sticks for hands. This way to adventure. Hi, Brittany. Hello. Welcome back to Virtually Real. Thank you. Now, today's game was Stilt. Mm. What were your first impressions when you went in there? The, it is so colourful. It's so bright. It's The graphics are really, really cool. Like, you just feel like you're in that world. Um, my first impression was just to yeah, look around and kind of see what the vibe was. And then felt the feeling of the moving with the hands. That... You have sticks for hands. Pogo sticks. Pogo sticks. Pogo sticks. Yeah. And um, that was a weird feeling. What the heck, Kieran? Why am I on the... <laughs> You're on the floor. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is crazy. I don't like all these bum bums. It's very alarming. Oh my goodness, the graphics. Okay, collect stamps. They will be helpful on your journey. All right, so I just... Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Nah, okay, if you're afraid of heights... <laughs> What the heck? No, I want to do that again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The game looks super cartoony, colourful. It's just joyous to be there. Lots mm -hmm. of bright colours. It's like, hey. And then, like you say, once you start to move with those pogo sticks, um, it feels strangely liberating yeah that's it's a fun way to move around that is a good way to put it and it's kind of weird because like as soon as you stop you're back at sea level like and it, i don't like that i was like no get me back up but yeah you you kind of have this urge to like just go higher and fucking higher and higher and i was like frustrated because i couldn't <laughs> <laughs> this is so trippy oh okay when you jump if your leg, like my legs feel a bit weird. I hope that's normal. I want to see how high I can get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whee. This is just kill enemies by jumping on them. Oh, look at these little cuties. It's pretty user friendly. Now, there are a few ways to move. You can arms out in front of you, which you did a lot. Yes. You can do the, you can do the one-handed traverse that you did. Did you, that. You're good with one hand. I am. You did the um, the crabby. The... No, it didn't work for me. Seriously, last night, it, the crabby worked for me. You that thought was I was winding lie. you up. That was a lie. That was a stitch. As I was doing it, I was like, he's having me on here. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what the game's about. It's basically a 3D platformer. Mm -hmm. uh, where you are moving along. It looks like you're trying to get back to your spaceship or car, as you call it. <laughs> Look like a floating bus <laughs> in the, the end. That The one-eyed octopus <laughs> yeah. space monster has got on the top of the mountain. And as you're going along, you've got to collect stamps, you get power-ups, um, you get enemies that you have to jump on a shoe. It's, it's, it's your bog-standard platformer fare. Mm -hmm. At one point you said it reminded you a bit of Mario, which is... Yeah, it kind of had that feel to it. I don't know. I think it was just like the fun music and the colours and, yeah, it did. It's a very um 
like a relaxing sort of chill game. Good workout for the arms. It's so weird because when you stop, you just like go into the ground. No, no, no. Power up ahead. All right, let's go. Reload by bouncing on the ground. Oh, does make you feel a little bit queasy. We'll be all right. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is so random. Look at this little thing. Come here. Oh, it's so cute. Boing. All right. Boing. Whoa, that was dumb. Oh, no, we're good. Whoa! That was an ADHD moment, that was. <laughs> oh! How did you really find the moving around? I feel a little bit sick <laughs> still. Uh, Kieran did offer seasickness, seasickness tablets for me, but I'm, I was like, no, nah, I don't need them. And then halfway through the game, I was like, F it was in that tunnel one uh, underground. That one I started to be like, oh, I don't feel very well. Like just a bit queasy. But all the walls were close and stuff like yeah, that. It probably didn't help. And a bit claustrophobic and stuff. But like, I guess I think. A bit what? Claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. We had this last time. Cross. Claustrophobic. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Kate said it yesterday when she was Did over. She? I didn't pick her up on it, but I was claustrophobic. like. Claustrophobic. Yeah, claustrophobic. Yeah, it's claustrophobic. I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> And then we contained. Makes more sense. Yeah. Like, what's closs? Closs. What's Cla that mean? Closed. Closs. Closed. Phobic. Oh! There we go. <laughs> See, you're not just coming here to play games. You come here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just one-handed. Yeah. Pro. You know, it's taken me a while to get used to VR, but I think we're getting there, Kieran. Look at this. Pro level. How many other people doing one handed? A present! Oh. Huh? Huh? Present. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's my car. Wow. People are so creative. Boing. 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 Like vibrates every time you whoa. Come back. Hey! <laughs> okay, anyway. Um yeah, so it definitely it definitely it does make you a bit queasy. Well it did for me. It makes you feel a bit like cause yeah, like you were explaining, you're only moving with your arms. So the rest of your body's not really moving. And your brain's trying to understand what's going on. But um yeah, it, apart from that feeling, like it feels pretty fun because it like vibrates as you jump and you're just like, duh, 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 like yeah, it's it's a fun feeling. And But it does make you feel a bit sick. You were having some of the problems I was having where your arms are a bit unwieldy and you go to <laughs> think you're going somewhere and you hit the wall and it bounds <laughs> you back. But I think that just adds to the difficulty of the game. Yes. Which makes it a little bit more fun. And I'm sure as you get further and further throughout the game, you get more used to the control system, you'll start bang, bouncing around like a master. Look at this, bloody pro over here. It gives me Mario Kart vibes. I don't know why, like, um, what's, what was that one I used to play back in the day, Spyro? Whee! <laughs> I'm definitely, it's definitely a workout, eh? Oh, here comes, there's a big one down there. Oh, they're huge. That's what she said. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like shot myself then. All right, here we go. Whoa, this is tricky. Got him. Oh, old mate's trying to come up. Now you got onto level two. Your big complaint through level one was, I want to go higher. Yes. And it seems like in level two, it started to kind of 
get you a little bit higher. And I can tell you that the further you get through the game, the higher <gasps> and higher and higher you get to jump. So it does become this massive kind of like, whoa, whoa. taking leaps and bounds. You definitely want a tablet before that because <laughs> you're flying. Yeah, like even level two I started to be a bit like, oh, I like that, that you have to kind of work into that. That's cool. That's a cool feature of the game. But, yeah, I agree with you. I think it's good that you have to beat off walls and... <laughs> Lucky walls. <laughs> That's what those little aliens have a <laughs> spunk on their heads. Wow. <laughs> I, that, that's staying in. <laughs> Alien spunk heads. Anyway, um, yeah, so you had to, yeah, I think that, because otherwise, not that it would get boring, but like, you know, you're just sort of plodding along and it's kind of a good meditation almost. Kind of keeps you present. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's good it's got a bit of a challenge. And I'm assuming as the levels go on, it gets more challenging. This one's aggressive. Oh my gosh, no! Holy f <sighs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for something crazy to happen here. I don't I don't trust these games. <laughs> What's that saying? There's like, people say, would you rather have arms for legs or legs? No, that wouldn't make sense. You still wouldn't do this with your arms, would you? I found with this one, it was easier to do a bit of a crab move. A sideways though. Imagine if you turn the stick sideways and then move, do crabby. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I have a feeling that's not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't feel right. I don't know. I think he's just real. And there, yeah, and there was a couple of bosses in there, a couple of bigger enemies that you had to fight. Um, mm. Like you say, you had to find your way. Um, I love the difference between how you and I play VR. Um, and because I'm kind of read the instructions. All right, I've got to collect stamps, so I have to collect every single stamp. Where you're just like, right, get in there and go, hey! No, 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 there's no need for foreplay. Let's just get in there and get to the end. I'm so impatient. <laughs> the idea of reading instructions, no. <laughs> Seriously, I was like, ah. I was like watching you play good. Oh, what's she doing? There's a stamps back there. But cool. why, why stamps? Pardon? Why stamps? Stamp collector. Really? Uh, That's actually cute. Where the heck am I? Bloody hell. Hey! Bing. Why do I have these? Where is it? Can I only mean one thing? It'd be crazy being an insect. You're just so little. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. My bad. And I'm, I'm near something, I can sense it. You wouldn't want to be claustrophobic. I'll tell you that much for free. Oh. Oh. oh! Back in the wilderness. I've still got loaded guns. Ah! Yeah, it's a workout. I was so sweaty. Like, it is your arms. Like, that's a good workout. Yeah. So if you want to even do it for that, you could add that into your little regime. When Britt finished, she said, I didn't think you could sweat from your legs. That's never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not with VR. <laughs> oh, f me, heart rate's at 190, I bet. <sighs> God. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. What's this thing going to crush me, is it? Hopefully not. Wee! It's like a big cheese slice. Oh. Bouncy. 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 Bouncy! <laughs> Maybe in each level you get to go higher. Well, hello. Oh dear. Oh. I'm sweating so bad. Okay, so listen, we do this at the end of every Virtually Real. One fun for game, 
one thumb for would you buy it? Mm-hmm. This game was, I think it's $28.95. It's around the $30 mark. Um, and I think there's about eight to ten levels on it. Okay. So show us your thumbs. What are you giving it? Yes for the game. I wouldn't buy it. The only reason is because I think, like I said, the sickness feeling kind of, it isn't fun for me. But if I'd taken a tablet, probably be better. And because I didn't get to level 10, it's kind of, oh, now I don't know. Can I revert? (laughs) You can revert. (laughs) Because I just feel like I don't understand what the point, like I guess you're trying to get back to the car. The space car. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, actually, no, I would. I would buy it because I'd want to get through all 10 levels and see what happens. Look, also as well, um, I'm a bit cruel when people come over here to play VR because um, there's a thing called snap turning, which when you move that stick, I put it on smooth turning so it's smooth, but you can turn it on snap turning so it only turns in increments. And there's a thing called tunneling, whereas when you're moving through a game, as you're moving, it'll make the edges of the game go black. And it brings your focus to the center of the screen and it stops you feeling motion sick. But it looks shit on the game, on the recording. So this is for you. Her sickness is for you guys back home. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll get used to it. I'm giving it two thumbs. I love this game. It was the it's the most fun I've had in VR for a while. Just it was just free. Freedom of just bouncing around and it was like, oh, this is this is just ah. <laughs> We've done that a few times. It's like, this is just great. I just love it. So, yeah, it's getting a big two thumbs for me. If I had three, I'd stick a third up there. Up where? <laughs> up there. <laughs> Memberships are now live on the channel. So if you want to see Brit's full playthrough of Stilt for the price of a cup of coffee every month, you can have access to hours and hours and hours of VR goodness. All my friends playing the VR games, the full play sessions, there's hours of content on there. So please join. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. All money that the channel makes... I funnel back into the channel as giveaways, the prizes and stuff like that. So the more you give, the more you make. Or the more I make, the more I give. I don't know. It works. Someone gets something. Yeah, yeah. Someone gets something. <laughs> it's not me. Oh, I'm lying. I get your love. Yeah. And your credit card details. <laughs> <laughs> and P.S. a coffee. No, that's just one coffee a, at the a moment. Week, a month. Um, yeah, but, oh, never mind. I thought you were saying Every coffee, every day, a month. I was like, that math ain't. Oh, that'd be a lot. But yeah, I was like, how much is your channel? <laughs> Am I getting paid for a turn of it today? <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> this black hair didn't pay for itself. It's a shade off black hair. I've off been black. told. <laughs> <laughs> well, did the curtains match the doorstep? Is, Thanks, that what guys. They say? is that what they say? Is that what they say? What's the say? Does the drapes. Did the drapes match the doorstep? No, that's not it either. Did the drapes match the curtains? The curtains match the drapes. But aren't curtains and drapes at the same level? I don't even know what a drape is. <laughs> Does the curtains match the skirting board maybe? No, that would be your feet. <laughs> Let's Google it. <laughs> Let's Google it. Well, I don't think they care. The, oh, they care. <laughs> all, the, all the guys just went, what just happened? <laughs> what are they talking about? all that's left to say (laughs) is thank you Britt for coming over and playing stilt thank you at home for watching stay virtually real bye bye do you know my son yes he's ungrateful do you know why why I bought him a trampoline he doesn't jump on it just sits there in his wheelchair crying Karen You're going to get us (laughs) cancelled, you (laughs) arsehole.